Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. Today's video is going to be another tournament predict and we are going to be looking at the bracket for Low Tide City uh, 2022. Uh, tournament coming up this weekend. It's going to be hype. It's going to be sick. Let's look at the bracket, see what we say, see what we disagree, all that, and then people that I think will do really well. Uh, first place is Spargo, second is Cola, third is Zomba, fourth is The Buzz, fifth is Meister Louis Money, seventh is Elegant and Mudes. What else do we got here? Ninth is Goblin, Base Mage, Big Boss, Sky J. Thirteenth is Iken, Lima, Anathema, and Apollo Kage. And then you have Aaron and Shattuck. Geist, Ned, Chase, Yanni, Ada, Ada, Dark Wizzy, Synergy, Nico, Jordan, Colorado, Suarez, Varun, Burr, and Grayson. And then over here, it's like, eh, they, they might be seated higher. But I think everyone that could make it really, really far in this tournament is probably going to be seated in this area. So I, I don't think I'll be going into these parts. Maybe for... Maybe for specific brackets. But immediately, uh, I think Spargo winning is absolutely fair. I think Cola being second is absolutely fair. Actually, it would be Cola or Zomba second. Zomba's been playing really, really well lately. Like, super, super well. So I definitely think Zomba could get uh, get second place. Or even first, honestly. He's, he's been playing out of his mind. I don't know if I have Meister top five. Um, and that my reason for that is he just hasn't been he hasn't had a top eight in a while. Here, let's pull up. Let's pull up PG stats. I believe he hasn't had a top eight since like it's been a really long time. <laughs> I don't even think he top eighted Delfino Maza. Uh, why is this not working? We'll just go to smash.gg. Or, uh, Liquipedia. But he has not had a top 8 in a very long time. Not saying, like, he's bad or anything. He's obviously amazing. It's just been a little bit. He hasn't been placing as well as he normally does. Uh, it'll be down here. Right, let's see. So we got 25th at Genesis, 9th at Maza, 7th at G4, 9th at Summit, 13th. 13th so his last top eight was at smash con where he got third and that was in october which that's like a that's a long that's a long time ago that's like six months or something and then he's had a couple nights a night that a main stage is just beating one player so like it's or not main stage uh summit is just being one player so it is like obviously very good because that tournament is like probably the most densely stacked tournament in the world but at the same time uh, he definitely, he definitely can. I just five. I don't know. I don't think I put him there. I think I would put Mudes over him. I think I don't know how Mudes has been doing as of late. He has not been doing as well as he was in the start, like kind of post quarantine. He had like an insane part, and then he just kind of didn't do as well. Uh, not a great, pretty bad placement at Genesis. And then that's been the only tournament he's been to, which is probably why he's seated so low. Because the last one was uh, Let's Make Big Moves, where he got third. And then he got Smash World Tour. And he got ninth at Smash World Tour. Gosh, Mudes is, Mudes is insane. Third at CEO. So I could definitely see Mudes. I think Genesis is just like a terrible tournament. Just like it was for Elegant. Like Elegant also had a very, very bad Genesis run. Like for their standard. So I definitely think Mudes and Elegant will... Honestly, if they have like just good runs... They'll probably outperform their seed. I think it is harder for Mudes to do it just because he has to fight uh, Spargo to get into top 8. But that's 100% an upset he can make. Uh, I would also honestly maybe put Goblin in the top 8. Not necessarily over Meister. That was pretty big. <laughs> I don't know if I put him in top 8 over Meister. Maybe, eh, maybe over Elegance. I'll have to look at Elegance. 33rd. And then 5th at Maza, 13th at Collision, uh, 9th at Glitch Infinite. So he definitely a 5th at Let's Make Goose. He definitely can get top 8, and I wouldn't be honestly super surprised. Honestly, any of these players getting top 8, I wouldn't be surprised. The most surprised I would be is by SkyJ, and that's not because I think he's a worse player. I think it's because he plays Incineroar, and sometimes heavies just have those brackets. Uh, he has to play Louis Money, who he is projected to lose to, and he also has to play Iken and Dark Wizzy. That's tough. That's really tough. Let's see here. This also play Shattuck. Shattuck is also amazing. He could definitely make an upset. 
Uh, where's Dark Wizzy? Who does Dark Wizzy have to play? Dark, where, why can't I find him? No way he's already in Losers. Okay, let's play Apollo Kage. Uh, I think Dark Wizzy could beat Apollo Kage. I think Dark Wizzy's really good. He's gotten, I believe, 33rd at both the tournaments he's went to. So he is getting better because, like, you know, Genesis was just a harder tournament than the tournament. Oh, he got, no. He got 65th at Genesis, or 49th, whichever one it is. That's doesn't really help. Probably 49th. And then he went to, didn't he go to another major? I could have sworn Dark Wizzy went to a major before Genesis. Oh, that's annoying that that's not working. Am I crazy? Yeah, he went to Low Tide. Oh, wait, no, that was a while ago. Maybe not. I could have sworn Dark Wizzy's been to more tournaments than just Genesis, but I guess not. He, uh... Interesting. But anyway, even though he did get 65th, I think Dark Wizzy is an amazing player, and once he finds his groove, I honestly, he'll be like top 20 again for uh, He just doesn't have it. He hasn't played in a really, really long time. Like, after poor priority, he took a massive break from the competitive just altogether. So I definitely think he can uh, top 8 for sure. Uh, I don't know. I don't think he can win, but I think I think he'll outperform his seat. I really do. He's he's an amazing player. Yanni also had an insane run uh, at Genesis, so he could definitely outperform his seat if he plays like he was playing. I feel like Yanni is one of those hot and cold players where he's either very very. I feel like all the Steves are very very cold or very very hot, and I guess that just depends of how hot Yanni's playing. He has to play Anathema. Steve Rob seems doable. Is he projected to lose to two Robs? He is. He's pretty loose. If, okay, if Yanni knows the Rob matchup, he is chilling because he'll probably beat one of them if he's very good at it. I don't know if he is, though. But uh, I definitely think Yanni can cause the upset there. And then, who else is really, really good? Big Boss, obviously, is an amazing player. Iken. Let's talk about Iken. Uh, Iken has played Zamba. That's really hard. That's really into Louis money. That, okay. I think Iken's amazing. That's tough. That's just tough. Zomba is... He's been playing very, very well lately. Oops. I, oh my god. What have I done? What have I done? There's my OBS. You guys know everything now. Uh, Iken's an amazing player. He definitely can do it. Same with Aaron. They both had insane runs at Genesis. If they play like they were playing, uh, it's definitely doable. It's just like... There's a lot of people here that are seated in like this area that had very, very good Genesis runs. You have Aaron. You have Iken. You have Yanni. And these have to play really tough people. Like, Aaron has to play Goblin. Uh, Apollo Kage also had an insane pound run. Aaron has to play Goblin. Yanni has to play Big Boss. Uh, Iken has to play Sky J or Wizzy. And honestly... I think... I think Dark Wizzy should be Sky J. Sky J is amazing. And his character should lose to a bunch of characters, but I feel like Mario is one of the one of the low tier killers of the game. Like Mario Polo, they just like just out neutral and out damage your character consistently if their character's not like amazing, amazing. So I definitely think that that's possible. To buzz Anathema, Anathema hasn't had. I don't think he's had many very very good runs as of late. Anathema. Let's see here. Genesis, he gets 33rd. Not terrible. 7th at Let's Make Big Moves. That was his last very, very big run. Then 17th at Smash World Tour. Did he? Oh, he did top 8. That's right. Wow, I forgot he made out of pools. 17th CEO. A lot of 17th and then that 9th at, uh, or that 7th at Let's Make Big Moves. So Anathema, you said, yeah, I'm wrong. He just, he has been having very good runs. It's just kind of in comparison to Rob players. Rob's doing a lot right now, but he is definitely probably second best rob na and then worldwide i think i don't know how good ssr is would be in comparison but that's not really the point and that was a very good player and he definitely could make that run and he's got a very doable run as well uh just like the buzz is tough but base mage it's base mage is one of those people where it's like i think they're amazing it's kind of like sky j uh, but puff is not a bad character but they can just they can die especially against a rob so it's gonna who's base mage play against? Meister, 
That seems doable. I could be smoking reefer. I feel like for Puff, a character like Game Watch, you can kill early. That doesn't seem too bad, but the Uppy would probably be tough for combos. I don't know. I'm not a master uh, Jigglypuff Game Watch. If you are, that's... I'm impressed. Elegant fighting a Rob. He can definitely beat Big Boss, I think. I think Elegant just had a bad... Bad string of tournaments. Which happens. Everyone's bad to have bad days, bad weeks, bad months. But if L... I need to... <laughs> I'm being so vague. Let's see here. Genesis. Not... His worst placement. Collision wasn't even terrible. He got 17th there. So he hasn't actually had too many bad runs. Just this one is not not great compared to, like, this run, this run. But, like, here you see here, even when he was playing hot, like, 4th, 4th, 17th, 17th, 3rd, 7th, 17th, 97th. So I guess after the bad placement becomes the best placement. So, honestly, Elegant will probably win. Uh, he used to play Varun. He can definitely do... I feel like Elegant is one of those players that, like... It's also matchup dependent, but I just have so much faith in him just because he's just so good. Louis Money, low key, is he's in top eight, right? Yeah, okay. Louis Money fifth, I absolutely agree with that. Uh, Louis Money is a very, very good player. Insane. He's been. I don't think he's had amazing placements at both the majors. I think he's had like a 13th and a 17th. Again, it's so vague. <laughs> I think we the video's been going on for like at least ten minutes, but we're still we're still falling to the same traps. Oh my god, he was an online warrior. Alright, seventeenth, not great. Seven you did better at the actual tournament than the <laughs> the pre one. And then level up okay, so he hasn't actually been to a ton. Uh, he hasn't been to much since Sashwell Tour. I think level up was like a B tier C tier size tournament. Where he also got seventeenth, so he's just gotten seventeenth twice. So if he can break that curse, he'll get into top 8 free. He does have to play Zomba, which is really hard. Just because Zomba is, like, an incredible player. But if he can beat Zomba, I think he can beat Cola. Honestly, I think Louis Money can beat anyone in this bracket. Uh, we'll talk about a couple more players, then we'll wrap her up. Colorado. Colorado's been making, actually, a lot of upsets lately. He's been getting very, very good. So he might have... He might. This might be his tournament. He might have to run. Ned also had a very good uh, pound run, so he could also do it. I don't think Sean is here, because I, I, he'd probably be in the top 8, right? After that run. It, or not the top 8, the uh, top 32. Oh, excuse me. Burr, Kazi is a broken character. He might have a... Let's see, let's check out Burr's bracket. Because if Burr has, like, a good bracket, he... Zomba. Well, that sucks. <laughs> uh, although, Riddles did beat Zomba, but... Riddles is also on another level, so we'll have to see. Aaron, I already mentioned him. I think he could have a very good run. Ada Ada, you could also have a very good run. He has to play Iken, though. I think, honestly, the people to look out for that are not seated for top 8 would be Iken, it would be uh, Dark Wizzy, and it would be Goblin. Uh, I think those are... And Base Page. I think those are my four that I would predict. One of those probably makes top 8. Maybe not. I think one of them will. Mainly Goblin. I feel like Goblin's... He has to play Elegant or Cola, though. If Okay, so if Elegant beats Cola and Goblin is in Losers, Goblin does not make top 8. And he has to play Mutes. I feel like I've seen Goblin beat Mutes. Goblin Mugger? <laughs> <laughs> Did I spell Mute's name wrong? I did. Oh, I'm a fool. Riptide. Don't remember, honestly. And these are all super old. Well, I'll skip to the end of this. We'll wait for that to go. We'll come back to that. But yeah, uh, Goblin has a tough run, but he could definitely top 8. He has to beat Spargo as well, though. Who does Spargo Loser fight? Spargo Loser fights Meister. I think... Oh, wait. No, Spargo Loser fights Big Boss. I think Roy can do that. So yeah, those those would be mine. Uh, goblin, big or uh, goblin, base mage, dark wizzy, I can obviously players like Big Boss and Sky J can probably do it. Uh, Anathema can probably do it. Pago Kage, Lima, we haven't seen him at a tournament for a while, so he can also probably do it. All those players are insane. But those would be my four, and then in the top eight, let's see what the seating is here. I move Meister down at least one. I would put 
honestly, probably Mudes over Meister. Even though Mudes does have that, like, way worse performance than Meister, Meister's performances overall have been, like, way less consistent. And I don't want to let one tournament dictate someone's lower pacing. Meister's, like, he's, he's at a lot now where he just hasn't been reaching those peaks. So, I also think he has a pretty tough bracket. We'll go back one second, Latin final time. Meister has DeBuzz, which is tough, and then he has SkyJ. I think SkyJ beat Meister the last time they played. I could be smoking Reefer. So Goblin wins this set. Yeah, so Goblin wins that. So, hey, Goblin definitely can do it then, but then he has to play Sparkle, which is, like, really hard. Meister versus SkyJ. I believe they played at Retta. And Meister lost. No, they did not. Have they ever played? No way Meister and SkyJ haven't played at a major. Where was this even? Resort Valley? I don't know what that is. Okay, that's that's going to be very interesting. I hope that happens. That'll be sick. Actually, though, I hope that doesn't happen because that means Iken or Dark Wizzy will lose and that will make me very sad. Specifically Dark Wizzy. I hope he has the run of his life. I'd be, I'd be hyped. Uh, Elegant, I think if he has a blow-up tournament, he'll do well. Louis Money, I think... He's seated perfectly aptly. Zomba, I'd put him over Cola. Uh, they both are very, very consistent, but, like, Zomba is consistently, like, one place better. Like, let's see here. Let me pull up Cola's stats, I believe. He hasn't had anything higher than a 7th since Let's Make Big Moves. So I put the Smash there, I'm learning. Uh, Genesis 7th. Infinite seventh, collision seventh, and then let's make a new second. So those are very, very high. But then Zomba, smash, hey, Google save me, amen, brother. Zomba smash has fifth, fifth, ninth, second. So he has the same high at second uh, that Cola had. He has a little bit of a low with the ninth, which is crazy to say <laughs> at collision. He lost to Tilde. Oh, no, he teamed with Tilde. I was about to say it. And then at Genesis, he got 5th, and at Pound, he got 5th. So, I think Zomba, honestly, put him over Cola. Screw it. And, yeah. My projected take the tournament is obviously Spargo first seed. I think Mudace is going to have the run of his life, and he's going to win it. I think Zomba is going to have an okay run and win it. <laughs> I think Zomba will be playing, like, 3% better than usual and take the tournament easily. And, yeah, that's my top three. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Let me know what you guys think. If you disagree, uh, say it in the comments. I'll read it. Will I respond? Probably. If you're mean enough, I'll respond. But yeah, thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Be sure to sub, all that yada yada. Uh, for streams and stuff, I got Overwatch 2 beta. I'm probably going to stream it. If you guys want that on YouTube or Twitch, just let me know. If you even want to watch that, let me know. Hype videos coming up. I might do a prediction on the Japanese tournament that is happening this weekend as well. Tomorrow, we'll see how I'm feeling. And if not, I will see you guys when I see you guys. Anyway, last time, thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you next video. Bye-bye.